to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo, listen up, listen up, yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. The wireless woman. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. All right, we are back. We're back. We're back. We're back. I'm hoping that my microphone sounds as crispy. Um, it sounds like when you unwrap something new and fresh. That's what I'm hoping it sounds like because I have been <laughs> trying my best to get everything taken care of with my microphone. It's the one thing that makes this such a difficult prospect and y'all know starting after the new year I'm gonna be back in college because I thought it would be a great idea to try to buy a house and get a degree at the same time I'll be starting a new job a new position so literally new everything in the new year um and so hopefully I can start to get some of my technical difficulties under wraps in my new location. I don't know if y'all see how sad I really am about room 303. Like this was my little spot and you'll have to see how my new house is set up. Like there's there's no little spot. It's it's the house that a single woman buys. But I'm happy about that because like I said, it's going to give me the ability to begin to build generational wealth, which was supposed to be the point of why we do all of this, um, of all of our trips to Belize, all of our flexing, our Christian Dior, our Audemars. The point wasn't to look rich. The point was to build wealth. So I stayed within my price range. I bought a house that would allow me the ability to have some equity in a time where that's almost completely unheard of I also also have been able to eliminate a whole lot of extra money on closing costs all that stuff I was very budget conscious and budget friendly the same financial practices I have used in the process of getting my credit to the place where I could afford to buy a home by myself as a single woman without <laughs> a massive amount of savings I'm using that same practice on how I'm picking out my home, my location. You know, we have to have a process of delayed gratification as much as I would love to max out the budget that I was given to buy a house. I was, I won't even say like frugal or thrifty. I did get a lot of things that I like and want in a home. But baby, it ain't no room 303. Yeah, this is something I could do on a renting budget. And I'm not going to be able to do on a homeowner budget. But, you know, in the places where I'm able to free up funds in different places and grow the channel. Hopefully, you know, I don't ever plan to monetize my channel. So I'm not looking to get YouTube money off of my channel. But I am looking to find the opportunities to partner with other people in my community who um, need more exposure. You know, that's what I'm doing with my lives. A lot of local artists, people that I've crossed paths with over the course of um, just being a creative in Charlotte, you know, us sharing platforms with each other to try to see how we can be a benefit to each other. Because I always say, if the net doesn't work, the network doesn't work. So we have to begin to build networks that actually catch us and lift us up. I think that's been a big part of the broken framework um, of the fractured black psyche. You know, um, nation building activities is something that's been suspended since the late 70s. So, you know, we have all of this technology. We have all of this access to each other and we can use it to tear each other down or we can use it to build each other up, which is what I hope <laughs> to be able to do um, with critical thinking and deductive reasoning. I am not one of those people who is going to bottle people into cognitive dissonance. However, I do want to create a healthy environment for us to um, share our different perspectives in a respectful way 
but also in an educated, enlightening way for the purpose of being able to build stronger institutions together. I think diversity of thought builds the strongest um, infrastructure. However, we can't have people in here who, you know, have a cult mentality, who are um, supremacist in different ways, who are capitalists that are looking for um, a way to get on top of everyone else in the group and press down. So I think that by everyone being educated, doing the work of healing, and then coming into those environments to share, we can actually accomplish something greater together than the sum total of all the noise that we've been making in these social media spaces. Section leaders, what is our concept? One band, one sound. One band, one sound.